Today, from Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada, this is Madden Football on EA Sports. Raiders taking on Baker Mayfield and the Cleveland Browns. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Las Vegas, Nevada. The atmosphere here electric. No matter the venue, the home folks love their silver and black. They are fired up as their Raiders get set to face off with the Cleveland Browns. shy of the 30. Jojo Natson on the Browns the offense getting ready for their first drive as they will do so behind their quarterback in his third year now from Oklahoma, Baker Mayfield. And I think Baker Mayfield has had a tremendous offseason getting ready for this one because he put the focus squarely on football and cut out a lot of the peripheral stuff. Just focused in on being the best quarterback and leader for his Cleveland Browns team. And now all he has to do take care of the turnover issues of last year. 21 interceptions he threw, second most in the NFL. A first carry now for Nick Chubb. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Mayfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one in second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Here's second and ten. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 16 yards, a first down. Well, we could talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam! Puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion. Really good pickup. So here's a first and ten now in Raider territory at the 46. Mayfield hands it off to Chubb. Corey Littleton there on the tackle. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Yeah. 
Second and nine from the 44. A run for Nick Chubb. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Chubb again, the ball carrier. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. And it's third down. Scoreless after one quarter with no score. And the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. From the gun, Mayfield. Escaping the pressure right. Pass the 20. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 23 yards on the tuck and run. On third down, the defense decided to blitz. A very good job of recognizing it, stepping away from the pressure, and finding open space to scramble and pick up a first down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, Mayfield. Open man is Higgins. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. First and goal from the six. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Touchdown. From six yards away. And the Browns take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. Well, that drive felt like it took up an eternity. We finally have some action on the scoreboard. Yeah, but plenty of action prior to because that drive took up all the first quarter before we spilled into the second. And finally, points were registered. On the other sideline, they're chomping at the bid just to get the football. Austin Seibert on for the extra point. It's up and through to make it 7-0 Browns. So that drive in total eight plays. And it ends with a touchdown for Cleveland. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Jalen Richard now on the return. And he gets it to the 30-yard line, but the football's not going to stay there. There's a penalty marker down. So Bowling will scratch off some of that return. And I know fans get frustrated when they see penalties of this sort on kick returns, but it is difficult to do it right against these moving targets at full speed. Hard to do. Well, the holding penalty sets them back inside the 20 as they get going on this drive. Carr now on first down. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. 
Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Working with a second and three. From the gun, it's caught. And a slant hold in by Rose. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Shotgun now for Carr. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. He'll swing this one out to Richard. And he is down at the 48. A pickup of four that started at 148 yard line and ended at the other. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. To throw again on second down. Carr. That's complete to Richard, the running back. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Seven yards there at a first down. First and 10 at the 41 yard line. So we've reached halftime with just the lone touchdown here. Seven nothing is our score. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been a hard fought battle to this point. Seven nothing is the score, with neither offense really able to get on track. But let's not waste any time. We'll get you right back out to Brandon and Charles for the second half. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. are going to have it first and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action. Here comes Richard on the return. Now a hit and a loose football. And this is picked up by the Browns. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for a Browns TD. So they get the one score, kick off, get a fumble, take it right back to the house. <laughs> Two quick touchdowns within a matter of about 10 seconds on the game clock. It's like a big one-two punch that may lead to a knockout. And this is one of those bang-bang plays, Charles. Did the knee hit first or did the ball come out first? This is where you need that 20-20 eyesight, don't you, Brandon? You've got to see which one happened first. If the knee hit the ground, then they will keep possession. The ruling on the 
field is reversed. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. Working from the gun, it's Carr. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. Now Carr will find Williams on the slant. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Nice catch up by Tyrell Williams who got off to a hot start. Heck, I call it a blazing start in 2019, scoring a touchdown each of his first five games. And he has history as a big-time receiver as well. A 1,000 yards receiving for the Chargers back in 2016. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. They're going to run this with a tight end. And he's going to take this across the 50 in the Browns territory. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Second down and three. Last year's rushing leader among rookies, this is Josh Jacobs. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. A loss of a yard on the play. It's now third down and four. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. From midfield, here's Carr. That's caught by Waller out left side. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. First down, first down Raiders, Carr to Waller. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Throw. To the right side, going to be caught by Warner. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. Party got to like what they're doing right there. Little by little, they're getting closer. Another good pickup. Carr signaling to his guys, let's go, let's go here. Back to throw. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 25-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeouts. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. Get the score and get this 
thing into overtime. How deflating. Absolutely. I mean, let's face it, heartbreaking. They had an opportunity, had a chance, and probably were feeling pretty good about what was going on, and that was taken away from them by their own mistake. Yeah, the opportunity squashed. field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 36 yard line. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Second and two. They'll run again with Hahn. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. in victory formation now as they take the knee. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. And the Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. Down to one knee goes Mayfield, and that's all she wrote. Brandon, I can just tell you from experience, there's nothing like pitching a shutout on defense, but even more so when it's a tight game. I mean, when every defensive play is crucial and you don't give up any points, boy, they're going to feel awfully good about themselves after this one. Yeah, exactly. The offense wasn't humming, but hey, all they needed was... Well, you can't score one point. All they needed was two points. Well, you can't score two points on offense. All they needed was at least three. They got what they needed. They got what they needed. Exactly right. So Cleveland able to come away with the victory here. And not all W's are created equal, CD. And this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense obviously stuff to work on. But they did enough, and the defense carried the load. But you know what they say, it's always fun to work on things if it didn't go well in your game with a victory in your pocket. And that's what they've got going forward. For us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew, I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from Las Vegas.